Hey everybody, this is Austin from Austin Lindsay Photography. I thought I'd show you a quick tutorial about how I did this uh, washing machine shoot. So here's a little bit of video I have from a camera I brought. It's supposed to be a little bit longer, but the batteries in it ended up dying. So we have uh, just the one washer and the one model. Um, because of time constraints, we were only able to have one model there at a time. But we set up the uh, washer so that there was one side that was her side with the Cheetos and all the clothing, and then the other side was his side with the uh, cleaning products and the neatly folded laundry. Um, and basically, I just decided to set up two side lights and a front, uh, the top key light, and that was the lighting for uh, this shoot. So then I brought it into Photoshop and start out with this layer, and then I put a mask over it, um, and then just kind of brought him back in through the mask. So the mask will basically take this layer and show through, it'll mask out to show through what's underneath it. So since he's sitting, his layer is sitting underneath her layer, um, without the mask on, it just shows hers. With it on, the black part shows through into the bottom layer. So I did that masking part. Um, there's an extra layer. Uh, brought, uh, this one brings the, uh, the bucket of cleaning supplies back in and then I just took out the background just kind of made it white um, so that's all the the group one of the starting layer um, and then I kind of just played around with some levels um, a little bit more clean up the background out by the clothes over here you can tell uh, I got rid of that hard shadow there um, I brought in a uh, the uh, basket of clothes but then this is going to be the final image, but I figured it probably just doesn't look that full. So, you know, I kind of started playing around with um, dodging and burning. This one, I turned her head. Um, she looks more like she's looking at the top of his head in this one. Um, to do that, basically, uh, I uh, just made a, um, I took the, what is it, the lasso tool, and you just kind of run around just the area of her head. And if you push Command J, it'll copy it and make a whole new layer, just like you see up there. Um, so it's it's a layer all on its own of just her head. So then I just free transformed it, which is Command or Control T. Um, and then you can just kind of turn it around. I think you can probably see, yeah, you can see the layering or the box around it and you can turn it however you want to. Um, you know, kind of make it look obvious though, but. Um, so I turn it just a little bit. There's a, in, in the, uh, free transform, there's this little, uh, dot right here. Um, wherever you po put that is where it pivots on. So I just kind of put it around the base of her neck. So that way she's, you know, pivoting on her neck, looking down. So she's looking more at him. <laughs> so, uh, then I found a, a ground or a floor um, online and I just kind of I played around with a few different floors but this one looked the best so I left that in there um, and then I decided I want to put a few more washers in so I put a washer in to the left um, and play around with a lot of layers there um, because that was the original layer uh, that one's the layer with the, the top knobs and everything um, just kind of played around with some shadows um, and made it look a little bit more realistic and, and group those all in and then put a, a right washer. So that one covered up the clothing basket. Um, that one, there's the original. And as you go along, you can see more shadowing and a little bit, a little bit more realistic. Um, and I wanted the clothes basket in there again. So I put it back in there. Let's see, where's the original layer? There's the original layer of it. And then just kind of did a little bit of shadowing below it. Um, kind of made it a little bit darker. So and that one's probably the least realistic thing in the photo, but it still kind of gives it a little bit of character, I think. Um, I played around with doing a, a rolling cart, but this would just been so, so tedious and time consuming just to cut out um, between all the wiring. So I just didn't do that one. Um, and then this last layer right here is just a little bit of, it's a, kind of a desaturation layer just because I didn't like it so super saturated. So that's um, pretty much how I did this one. If you have any uh, questions or anything, uh, leave them in the comments area. I'd be happy to answer any questions you have. Thanks for watching.